हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर रिक्वेस्टिंग अस टू मेक ए वीडियो ऑन सिमुलेशन ऑफ एंटी स्लीप अलार्म प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग आई ब्लिंग सेंसर एंड दिस स्मार्ट हेलमेट प्रोजेक्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक वीडियो ऑन बोथ दिस सिमुलेशन सो लेट्स ओपन ए ब्लैंक सीट सो दिस इज द ब्लैंक सीट ऑन प्रोटीएस सो द वेरी फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट यू नीड इज आर डी नो एंड आई आई आर सेंसर सो यू विल गो टू दिस कंपोनेंट मोड एंड यू विल क्लिक ऑन पी एंड यू नीड टू सेलेक्ट आर डी नो enter so because we are using arduino nano so we will select arduino nano okay so this is the arduino nano now the next component we need is ir sensor so you can just write down ir sensor <sighs> let's see which ir sensor so this is the ir sensor okay this one so uh, i have in uh, downloaded the library for this ir sensor uh if you don't have library of this arduino nano and uh, uh, this uh, ir sensor in your proteus then you can download it from internet so there are lots of website available which are providing the library of this arduino uh, old type of arduino like arduino nano mega mini or lots of and uh, uh, this uh, ir sensor as well so you need the hex file for both this uh, ir sensor as well and this arduino nano as well okay you need to double click and then just download the hex file so the hex file for this ir sensor you will uh, you will get along with the library of this ir sensor and hex file for this arduino nano you need to create from the programming of arduino so i'm going to teach you how um, how you can add any new library that i have taught uh, in the previous video uh, you can just uh, go to my youtube channel and search over there how to download any new library in arduino okay or or in proteus sorry not arduino in proteus so you will be able to see how you can uh, add a library any new library in the proteus software okay now let's uh, take uh, next component which is uh, so first of all let's uh, see the circuit diagram so for the circuit diagram you can go to the website circuitsbazaar.com over there i have written a complete article on this and uh, this circuit diagram code theory details everything is given over there so this proteus file also i'm going to upload over there let me just show you So, so this, this is the article, article uh, on my web website circuitsbazaar.com the article is anti sleep alarm using i blink sensor okay so if you will go down then you will find the uh, circuit diagram so this is the circuit diagram you can just download it by clicking on right click so that you can uh, zoom in uh, to see better view of the components so as you can see that it's downloaded now uh, in the circuit diagram as you can see that this is uh, i blink sensor basically i blink sensor is a uh simply ir sensor okay and this is the buzzer and the vibration motor so both of these two are in parallel so the signal to both of these buzzer and uh, vibration motor is coming from pin number 13 and their ground is common okay this is the battery this is the dpdp switch and this is arduino nano where we'll up upload the program okay now just go to your proteus so this is the proteus so uh first of all let me just uh, uh upload the hex file in this ir sensor so i'll go over here i'll click on this fo uh, file folder and uh, i will file uh, i i'll find my library so as you can see that this is infrared sensor library and uh, here you will find a hex file you can see this is the hex file so this hex file i'm going to upload in the ir sensor so it's uploaded okay now the hex file in this arduino i need to upload from the uh, programming so this is the programming uh for this uh, project you can find the programming again on my website if you will go to circuitsbazaar.com then you will find over here the programming so this is the uh, programming okay it's very simple it's very short programming okay now if you will uh, go over here then you need to click on this file then preferences and over here just to compile this option should be uh, clicked over here then just click okay so the programming i have uh, taught you in the uh, the the video anti sleep alarm project but uh, let me just tell you just few things so over here on pin number 13 uh, a0 is the pin where we are going to connect the ir sensor so here we will connect ir sensor directly okay now uh, this is the led bulletin so the led built in this this is the pin actually pin number uh, 13 so this is pin number 13 so on this pin number 13 we have connected the buzzer and the vibration motor according to the circuit diagram let me just show you 
सो दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस वी हैव कनेक्टेड दिस बजर एंड वाइब्रेशन मोटर ऑन पिन नंबर थर्टीन राइट नाउ एज यू कैन सी दैट ओवर हियर वी आर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू वेरी डिटेल इन दिस कोड सो बेसिकली जस्ट द पिन नंबर आई हैव सोन यू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड इट सो इफ यू विल कंपाइल द प्रोग्राम देन यू विल गेट इन द बॉटम ए हैक्स फाइल सो यू नीड टू जस्ट कॉपी दैट हैक्स फाइल लोकेशन सो डन कंपाइलिंग नाउ इफ यू विल गो इन बॉटम देन यू विल फाइंड ए हैक्स फाइल ओवर हियर सो दिस इज दू कैन सी दैट डोट हैक्स फाइल सो दिस इज द फाइल वी आर लुकिंग फॉर so you just need to copy this hex file and just control c copy okay now go to the proteus double click on arduino nano and over here you just need to paste it click okay okay now uh on pin number 13 we need to connect the buzzer but as you know that uh, in proteus software not all the laptop have proper sound driver so a uh, buzzer is not going to create the sound so but we are going to see the logic what logic is coming so for that you need to just uh, click over here logic indicator logic indicator and uh, this is the large version click okay put it over here right click clockwise okay now place it over here and uh, connect this logic probe to pin number 13 Okay, now it's connected to pin number thirteen. Now, uh, just connect the VCC or fire sensor to the five uh, volt. So I'll take five volt. So you will go to this uh, uh, terminal mode, and from here you will find power, and uh, just put it over here. Double click on it, and just write enter plus five volt. Okay, now. Uh, just uh, connect it over here okay so plus 5 volt is given now it's time for ground so ground is connected to ground of arduino nano so you can also connect uh, this 5 volt as well directly but uh, i just connected separate power supply for this arduino nano now ground must be short so that's why i have sorted the ground because it doesn't matter how big your circuit is ground of uh, the complete circuit should be uh, connected with each other Now, if I talk about the out pin of this IR sensor, then it should be connected on pin number A zero, according to the programming. Okay. Now, <coughs> connected, right? Uh, it's time for uh, to provide test pin logic. So you will go to uh, component mode, then P, then you will write down logic toggle. Okay. So this is the logic toggle. so you can provide 1 or 0 to this uh, logic probe uh, just rotate it 180 degree okay now just connect it to test pin so the basic circuit is almost complete uh, now just let me give the name so just to save the time i have written something over here so i'm just put um, all these text around this circuit you can you can have your new text as well just click on this a and uh, click on this click on this template and you can provide any text let's let's say uh, i just write down ir sensor or just let me write down circuits bazaar circuits bazaar and uh, if you want to increase the size then you can increase size so this is we i we have increased the size now you can drag it you can drag it to any position so like this text uh, you can have any text just clicking on a then template then you can select any text okay now i have uh, as i already told you i have written something uh, just to save the time so i am just going to drag all these things uh, in the this arena so that i can use them quickly now uh, this is the ir sensor so i will put it over here so this is ir sensor this is arduino uno you know okay 
now uh, this is the uh, like state of the buzzer and the motor let me just tell you just just hold for a second i'll explain you each and everything okay and this is the project name actually now as you can see that our simulation is ready now first of all let me just see the uh, programming so in the programming you will find whenever it will sense if if you'll go to void loop digital sense whenever it will sense then the this pin would be low but when means uh, as soon as it a uh, high will come then this pin will uh, would be low but if zero will come then this pin should be uh, high like over here in this condition if zero will come this pin would be high okay like you can see that led built-in pin pin number 13 we are using pin number 13 okay now uh, i'll just uh, play the simulation now uh, you can see that just wait for a minute for a few seconds and then you will see now you can see that when uh, this ir sensor output you can see that the ir sensor output is zero when zero is coming to a zero okay then it pin number 13 provide high high means this logic one so it's logic uh, one means the buzzer and the motor will on as you can see from the circuit diagram uh, whenever uh, pin uh, one will come from pin number 13 then buzzer and the vibration motor would be uh, keep on running okay whenever zero will come then they will be off so uh, you can see that when the ir sensor is providing zero then uh, one will come and in this state the vibration motor and the uh, this buzzer would uh, uh, like the buzzer will uh, will create sound and the motor will also run the vibration motor will also run so this is the this is actually a logic representator and if i talk about this one this is logic provider okay you can provide one or zero according to your requirement ir sensor is not creating uh, one or zero automatically when you, when something you will take in front of this ir sensor but actually you have to use this probe to create high end low pin so as you can see that over here it's high means motor and the buzzer is running uh, but if you will provide zero from this ir sensor uh, sorry one now you can see that here the logic will come zero zero means motor will will be off and uh, the buzzer will, will also be off so you have to wait for a few seconds then you will see the logic will reverse over here okay so uh, we have to just uh, click over here so that the proper one logic will go there now you can see that uh, the output uh, on pin number 13 is zero as soon as i will leave it then it will become one so you have to wait for a few seconds then you can see it will become one pin number 13 now you can see that it became one now if you will provide uh, one from here then you will see on pin pin number 13 the logic zero will be created now you can see that pin number 13 is creating zero so this is how the simulation file file is working so now if you want to download this simulation file of uh, anti-sleep alarm project using eye blink sensor then you just need to go to the website circuitsbazaar.com uh, let me just show you so uh, on this article anti-sleep alarm project you will find protein simulation file for this project okay the, so this is the video where you can learn how you can add any new library in your protein software and if you'll click on this link you can see that if you'll click on this link then it will take you to the google drive and from there you can download the simulation of anti-sleep alarm project if you need right so these are all the sporting files so you just need to download all the files and you can directly run uh, this simulation in your uh, protease at your home so thank you so much for watching this video so this video became too long so uh, the simulation of uh, smart helmet project i'm going to create in the next video thank you